there was honestly so much food that afterwards we were fucking, I got a cramp. I was like, God damn. I don't think I need the food. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay. We're in a win. episode 267. That is 267 hours of, of cum nut talk. talk. Nut talk. Hold on. So we're close to 269? <laughs> yeah. A. 269. And that at that day, we should both 69. 269. Us? Oh. Each other? We could bring women into it. No. I think you, oh. it would have to be other, not each other because that would be 169. In I order feel to like, do wait, hold on. Two dudes, two dudes blowing, like doing 69. That's like a perfect Lego piece. Yeah. yeah it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice little puzzle piece. Yeah, well, it's like right on top. Like there's a, it's like, oh. it's like batteries. Oh, batteries. Link logs. Batteries. Now I'm just saying other things. <laughs> batteries 69. One plus. What do you mean batter- oh, get it. The like pluses me. are that way, minuses are that way. And they're like, they're up in it's there. It's a perfect charge. Yeah, it's right. Why don't you put like your Apple Watch right on the little cylinder? Did Funk? you used to tick, uh, put uh, batteries on your tongue to test them? I did. Yeah, yeah. Everybody why would you did. do that? Did you guys do that? Also, why would you no. put batteries Beavles? in the freezer? They, they got like, recharged longer. or something. I think they last longer. Did they last longer, or did you put them in there to get them recharged? Because that's what I would do. Did I do it wrong? Once they're uh, dead, I will put them in the freezer. I don't know if that works. Probably doesn't. Hmm. I always forgot about but it. But you're telling me there's electricity in a little tube. I don't understand. It's acid. Who knew that? Who saw some liquid and was like, you know what? This is going to make a fucking... Uh, Somebody was saving up to shoot up some acid, and then later that night, they put it on the counter so it started glowing. Some of the batteries used to glow on the charge. You'd like hold it down and it would glow. Well, oh, yes, I do remember that. hard. That's what we need for when my girl's going to come. Mm-hmm. Let me just... Where are we at? Is 60%? it getting better? 10%? It is. Good. It is. Just learning the body. Yes. You know, you just got to learn the body. The mind, body, spirit, and soul. Yeah. Speaking of learning the body. Uh-oh. I'm, yeah, I'm saying. Oh, me? We all had Valentine's Day, but we, we Women recorded. are like a game of operation. Okay. Bzz, 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 until you find it. Yeah. You know, mm-hmm. it's all operation. Were you good at <laughs> operation? I feel like you're not. Fuck no. I have shaky hands. <laughs> I get nervous. Shaky, you do have shaky hands. Do I? I, I was know. kidding. I don't have shaky hands, but I'd be nervous. Was it? I would like to play Operation right now. They could make an Operation game that is just a vagina, and you try to find the the. They have to have that available. Well, they should make one. We should make one. Just a little G spot. <laughs> Sex ed could really be revolutionized. Is that a word? I, I think I, everyone knew what you meant. I don't think, I think you said Sex it right. Sex ed should be updated. Like you should have to do dude, with VR. Yeah, you Apple should have Vision to Pro. like be able to do it. Yeah, you put on but, the headset and do it. But you can do it though, right? If, it, if it's VR, there could be a lady in front of you uh-huh. or a man in front of you, and they could like walk you through it, and they can be like, no, no, there it is, right there. Mm-hmm. Here's a problem though every person is different. That's the issue. Yeah, but you should at least, you, you would know where to start or what to look for. Yeah. Like CPR, there's multiple ways to do CPR. Is there? I don't know. Okay. <laughs> I think you push on people's chest. Heimlich? <clears throat> Who's Heimlich? Heimlich maneuver? Is it maneuver? Know. Heimlich maneuver? He- Heim- Heimlich man- maneuver. Maneuver. I did it right. Yeah. Heimlich maneuver. Heimlich's a crazy name. Heimlich. Hi, I'm Rick Heimlich. That's a good name. It is kind of sick. Rick Rick Heimlich. I would trust him with a Buick. Rick Heimlich's <laughs> Buicks. He didn't invent it until 1974. So before I mean, that, people were just choking just, on steak. Just, yeah, what do they call it? <laughs> the hand chokey method? <laughs> I don't think they knew what it was. Would you know how to give me Heimlich right now? I would attempt. Would you? Push on the chest. No, isn't Heimlich behind? You're behind, but you're. I think you're, you're pushing CPR. on the rib cage. But it makes mm. me nervous because you could True. fuck someone's like. Yeah. Uh, you guys use, bones up. I think I talked about this before. I know I always say that. I'm so sorry. Did you guys do that as a kid? Go <laughs> and then someone pressing a rib cage, you pass out. Nope. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> no. no. We, had, we had Game Boys. <laughs> oh, for real. <laughs> no, there was all those <laughs> like challenges. It'd be like we can make people pass out, and then one would go viral. It'd be like some kid and. Marilyn was fucking <laughs> huffing on his own lungs and passed out and never came back. Yeah. yeah, my mom told me 900 times not to do it. It was like a big craze. It was fucking, I did it yeah. nine times. Were kids ever actually eating Tide Pods or was that just like a myth? Mm, it's pro- <clears throat> Let's find out. Are Tide Pods fine? Because my girl literally makes fun of me that I have Tide Pods. I'm like, yeah. I felt like it was, I felt like it was like high class. They are expensive, dude. Yeah. So I buy laundry detergent on Amazon, and it's nice because they show you in parentheses how much you anything costs per load, and the Tide Pods Whoa. are like 10 times more expensive than just buying Yeah, but detergent. the convenience to go pop, pop, pop. It's so yeah. nice. You the know Tide Pods? 
Yes, of yeah, course. So I'm a nice. fucking man. Thank I use you. factor meals every, not an ad, but could be. Yeah. I use, I heat up my dinners in two minutes every two minutes. single day. I'm a simple man. Simple. If a Lunchable had one more ounce of protein in it, that's what I would do for life. I don't care. Convenience is key. And then when she goes, oh, babe, you use Tide Pods? Yes, I use Tide Pods, but I also am working 12 hours a day. Entrepreneur. Hold on. Just start doing numbers and math. Yo, does your lady make fun of you because you have Tide Pods? Fuck no. Oh, okay. I'm all about convenience. I think that's the least of my worries. The fact that I'll put athletic greens in a five-hour energy drink is a higher thing to take care of first than Tide Pods. So, Tide Pods but, are a few. Uh, what, because why, I also but, don't like the little the twisty spouty things. I don't know what the fuck's happening. Oh, it's garbage. And it gets fucking. It gets all disgusting. Over. disgusting. All they over were like it. gooping. There's like a, there's like a giant like, circle around it. What is that? Stupid, dumb. How do you keep your toothpaste clean? Because at huh? some point, mm -hmm. my toothpaste tube gets mm -hmm. insane. Yeah. How? How? Yeah. Same here. What? Thank you. How? how it just are you gathers doing? toothpaste like on the top and the sides. I think but you're just too lid. aggressively. I don't really put the lid back on all that often. Well, that's I do, but I I put the lid and goes. But I switched this other stuff, not an ad. I switched the other uh, Colgate, and it has the not a not a <laughs> bro <laughs> said not an ad, and then plugged Colgate. Well, I'm just so saying, I, like I had a rental car in Des Moines. It was a Ford, not an ad. <laughs> no, but you say not an ad. I'm just want to let Colgate. people know. No, but I'm saying they I don't need our money. They, well, Colgate has trillions. Look up Colgate's net worth right now. <laughs> well, I'm not saying they don't need. They need. A, what? Here's the thing. Why the fuck do McDonald's or all those commercials or all those uh, big ass companies still run ads? They still need marketing. Uh, Colgate's market cap is sixty nine billion dollars. <laughs> yeah, but that's from fucking Ozempic. That's not from fucking Colgate. They're behind that, buddy. Colgate doesn't own Colgate. A massive conglomerate owns Colgate. It's crazy. Who owns Colgate, please? It's like Pepsi owns everybody. Pepsi yeah. makes like Mountain Dew. Yeah. <laughs> Don't it's probably, they? It's probably Procter & Gamble, I'm assuming. Vanguard Group, largest shareholder. Vanguard! <laughs> God, Dude, oh, everything's damn. Vanguard. Guess who the second Black largest Rock. is? BlackRock. It's BlackRock, baby. <laughs> dude, Black, dude, we think that we're just walking around here willy-nilly. We think we have free will? Yeah. That's why I don't use it. What the fuck do you use? <laughs> Native. You know, native toothpaste doesn't have fluoride in it. Pull that up. Take uh, over pull it. That's the worst Shit. of your worries. Are you fucking kidding me? <laughs> That's the most you Fox News thing in you've a ever said. <laughs> yeah, Jack's on the fucking Alex Jones toothpaste. The Let tactical toothpaste. Dude, I bought some healthy toothpaste because of the Whole Foods. That shit fucking sucks. I miss Colgate. Not an ad. I miss <laughs> shitty toothpaste. This one, it doesn't leave my mouth feeling like fresh after. What is this? My mom this is has this. Wait, this says it is fluoride. No, I have the no fluoride. The no fluoride, okay. <laughs> no brain, There's brain control one. <laughs> fluoride is a brain do control? Do you really think yeah. it, it's a brain control thing? I, do. I well, do. What? What's happening? They put fluoride in the water supply, and he and it, there's a big myth that it's saying that it controls you. Well, water's crazy because they say stuff added for, like, taste. Water doesn't have a taste. Minerals added for flavor. What flavor? What flavor is water? Water. H2O. You know, what, you know how people were yelling at Taylor Swift for... Like taking her jet so many different places. Who's Taylor Swift? Yeah. The singing lady? <laughs> the singing idiot. She's CEO of Colgate. But you know how they're yelling at her for taking her jet so much? Yeah. It's like, yeah, but also we're pieces of shit. I Amazon Prime to lint roller. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I'm the smaller <clears throat> version of that. Yeah. Like people but, Amazon. But you're, but you're not making but you're Amazon not yelling. I'm what I'm saying is those uh, those people that are yelling at her about that, they do they're that doing shit the same thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Dude, they'll order fucking plastic straws on there. They're double threat. They're having a car drive there to drop off some straws. What's the dumbest thing you've ever Amazon? Like, I'm no better than Taylor. So every, nobody is. M&M's. Everybody's piece of shit. And I know hers is, what? One thing of M&M's. From Amazon? Yeah, but it, it was with other stuff, but I wanted M&M's. I want to know, can you I, look you at your- You got M&M's. Yep. On Amazon. Yeah, but not, it, I did not, not a single one. Have you heard of Postmates? Not an ad. Have you heard of Postmates? <laughs> no. I've used oh. DoorDash. Not an ad. <laughs> Whoa. How do you feel when people post on their story when they're about to be like, oh, I really love this orange juice, but they go like, not an ad. And they go, not an ad, guys, but Tropicana is so good. You have a thousand followers. <laughs> <laughs> You know what kills me? Give it to me? When people go, for those of you asking where my dress is from. No one asked! <laughs> Not one fucking person asked! With the affiliate link underneath. <laughs> 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 Jesus Christ, you okay? No. No. Okay. But I just want to, I want to follow up who asked. N no. Who asked? It literally, maybe one person. 
God, I, I want to look through my Amazon history list. I'm of doing what it right now. <laughs> I'm going to look at mine real quick. Everybody's a piece of shit. If there's convenience, we're going to do it. All right. What, what, was Taylor Swift going to take fucking Uber pool? Now, uh, granted, a jet is horrendous for the environment and way different. But like, is it? Is it I'm, I'm being serious. Is it really bad? Uh, I no. don't, wait, is what? The like plane? A jet. Yeah. Yeah. It's not is great. It? Yeah, I mean, with the carbon, the emissions. If I'm you believe in global through, warming, yes, it's very bad. Chemtrails. <laughs> I'm going to run guys. through my like 10 most recent things on Amazon. Okay. All of these I could have got at a store. And everybody does this. I would like to say this before I read mine, that I have a, my entire family and my brother's friends are on this too. So there's some- Your ginger. brother's friends? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What is this, a fucking Hulu account? It, it, I, I mean, it should be. Listen, Amazon Prime, November 14th. November 14th, <laughs> troll wall, pterodactyl. <laughs> Here's my here's some recent ones. We got wet wipes, dude wipes, not an ad. We got uh some fucking deodorant, lay right, magnesium to help you sleep, coffee filters, fresh breath. Here we go. Condoms, 36 pack, ultra thin, and lint rollers. I like those last two are the, for I the like same the thing. I like the pussy. I like the pause right there. Those last two are for the same thing. Pussy. I like the pause right there. <laughs> you yes. use condoms? <laughs> no, this these type are a loser. Those are old. I just hit buy again, and that was like in my like recommended. Oh, buy again. Okay. Yeah, because I ran out because I fucked too much the first time. Hey, you should use condoms, everyone. I just would like to say that. What are yours? Well, it's a funny start. You ready for this? Kids headphones. <laughs> <laughs> Stop. <laughs> kids headphones? What the fuck is the difference between headphones and kids headphones? One of these play the Epstein flight logs? No. <laughs> no, there's a smaller size. What do they look like? They're like kids. Like, they look like kids headphones. Oh, okay. Yeah, they're like little, they're like yeah. for the kids heads. Kids head. Epstein. <laughs> <laughs> We'll revisit that in the edit. <laughs> um, uh, P Pogo water bottle. All right. Uh oh, kids water bottle. Another kids water bottle. <laughs> Dude, good thing you gave us a preference that everybody's on this. If this was just yours, yeah. What was the last thing you just did? Uh, my last thing I did, uh, lemongrass essential oils. And then I did, uh, yeah, all this could be got at, we, at, at, at a Whole Foods. Uh, everybody's a piece of shit. Everyone. Oh, I got uh, Utopia Home Premium Velvet Hangers. I'm a big hang my t-shirt guy now. Just want to let everyone we, know that. Yeah, we've been doing that. But also, Velvet. Y'all been doing that? Yeah, we yeah. told you that. You, yeah, you said you folded your t-shirts, and that's like what I did in like eighth grade. I don't like the Velvet Hangers. They stick too much. Yep. Get off my t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> well, the t-shirt one, but it, it, it's, it holds your hoodies really nicely. Yeah, but then you got to stretch them out. God damn. Trevor Walsh, Los Angeles pop-up show. Two shows, Wednesday, March 6th, Hollywood Improv. Uh, it seats only like 200 each. Uh, I fucking love that room. It's so fun. I had so much when I did it last. I'm running a bunch of new material. March 6th, Los Angeles. And then the real actual tour tour kicks off in San Francisco, May 17th <laughs> to May 19th. Salt Lake City, May 30th to <laughs> June 1st. Miami, Florida. June 21st through June 23rd, Sacramento, June 28th, June 30th. And then I'm just going to fire off these names. And if you hear them, go to my website, Portland, Lexington, Nashville, Tennessee, Tempe, Arizona, Tampa, Florida. Go to TrevorWallsComedy.com for any tickets. TrevorWallsComedy.com. Stand up comedy, blow comedy. Where am I going to be yelling about feet? I will tell you, March 8th, New York City. Ladies and gentlemen, those tickets are moving. Thank Your. you, thank you for the love of God. March 9th, we sold out the first show in Atlanta. Second show added. Tickets are limited there. Uh, March 10th, we'll be in Charleston. Very small tickets there. Very small tickets. That's not how you say it. Low tickets. March 15th to the 16th, three out of the four shows already sold out in Cleveland. Go get tickets. March 29th, Portland. First show sold out. We added a show. March 30th, Seattle. First First show sold out. We added a show. Uh, March 31st, Vancouver. Already sold out. I love you. April 12th, I'll be in Niagara Falls. Um, April 13th, I'll be in Connecticut. And guys, many, many more dates on my website at blogcomedy.com. That is blogcomedy.com. God damn. Today's episode is brought to you by Factor. Factor. I have a Factor box waiting for me at home right now. It is pre-prepared, chef-crafted, and dietitian-approved meals delivered right to your door. First, let's say this. This is not... 
This is fresh ingredients. I feel like a chef is making this for me. It you is. You put it in the microwave for two minutes. It's literally like a meal that fresh, you get. Fresh, never frozen. At, yes. And it's, it's like a meal you get at, at like a restaurant. And you get to pick what you want. Buddy, on it's the, so nice. On the website, you pick like, oh, I want four of these. I want one of these. I want one of those. And if you don't want to choose, it chooses for you. And they'll, they'll give you like, a, they'll choose for you. And then if you're like, oh, I don't want this, then you replace it, whatever. But you, it's not like an annoying thing where you have to every single week I have to choose. No, it chooses for you. And, and for the most part, it's like, the, it, the choices are great. And I mean, sometimes you're just in a hurry. And, you know, every time I make a factor meal, I go, God, I can't believe I'm having a piece. Of, this is my dinner. Then I take a bite and I go, this is for real better than anything I ever would have made. Anything. And you literally save so much money, dude. If you use these, if you use like the online thing where you get food delivered to your <clears throat> to your door, it's so it's expensive. Cute. But this is not, dude. It's no prep, no mess meals, dude. Factor meals are 100% ready to heat and eat, dude. There's no prepping, cooking, or cleanup needed. Great to take it's, for the office too. You just oh, throw it in. It's there's like, some in the in the fridge in here right now yeah. that legit like look in like an incredible recipe. It's, it's a, incredible. Yeah, yeah, they're great. It's incredible. They're, they're great. And since I've been using it for so long, I kind of know exactly what for me personally the yeah. big, big hitters are. Yeah. And I just double down on those. Let me get four of those. Four of those. Boom. Boom. That's and I right. just eat like an NPC. And you can too. And they have they, and they have like smoothies and all the other stuff. Oh yeah, I do the smoothies yeah. and the juices with it's it. Like it's my whole. If I didn't have factor, I would be hungry. I'd be I would be angry. I yeah. think my, my calmness has gone down because I'm steadily eating. Because when I didn't have factor, I would calm has like, gone up. What you said? Calm has gone down. Calm has gone up. Good. Your calmness has gone up. Uh, yes, because now I'm always eating. Yes. But beforehand, I'm like, oh, f I'll find a meal later or whatever. I'll eat later. And yeah. then it's like 12 hours without eating. And I'm punching my steering wheel. Oh, uh, dude, I'm eating a rice cake with fucking rat shit on it. It's not good. So <laughs> head, head to factormeals.com slash socks50 and use code socks50 to get 50% off. You didn't Boop. hear me incorrectly, buddy. That is 50% off. That's code socks50 at factormeals.com slash socks50. You get 50% off. Guys, go get full, easy to freaking heat up, incredible meals, chef prepared. Go get it. We love you. Bye. God damn. How you feel about this? Here we go. <laughs> I went a little shopping in Santa Barbara for okay. the you know for our for our President's Day weekend. Celebrate all well, the that's presidents. That's how you celebrate. By the way, do you see Trump has sneakers? Shut up. We'll get back to that. I just want to ask you this. I was in Urban Outfitters. Outfitters, not an ad. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And they have these shirts for dudes that are like crop toppy. You could do it. Let me tell you something, buddy. I put one on, I was like, and my girl was like, please, it'll, it'll look so hot. And I'm like, all right, whatever. I'll do it for you, babe. I put it on. I think I might be a crop top guy. Do it. How much is showing? No, no, no. It wasn't like a full, it was like just to like, yeah. It was like just to like, yeah. Here. So if you kind of lift your arms. If I lift my arms, tits are not tits, but you know, the bottom Abs. of the six No, you have, you have a body for it. There was uh, two fellas at the gym who had them on, both yeah. jacked. And yeah. I was like, God, you guys can pull it off. Dude. It's a look. It's a trend right now. Do it. I, uh, yeah, I, I you know it's also crazy. You can make anything crop top. That shirt, snip, snip, snip. Snip, crop top. That's what's so funny about fashion. You just go longer, shorter, wider, uh, or skinnier. That's yeah. all it is. We're just sizing up. Okay, the skinny jeans out, baggy pants, and then it's going to go back in, and it's going to go shirts high, shirts long. Yeah. That's all we're just, I mean, I don't know what else it would be. Uh, yeah, how do you put, uh, yeah, I guess that's right. How do you push, fashion is hilarious, right? Because whatever's in, they go the opposite. Yeah. But the first person to say the opposite, that person, nightmare. That person doesn't do great. They're hoping that it hits. Because it, let me tell you something, the, it, it hasn't hit sometimes. Some guy was like, yeah. football pads. I was like, what the fuck, Did you ever see a photo of T.I. in the club wearing football pads? Bring it There's up. There's a photo of T.I. in a nightclub wearing football pads. It's, dude, it's like top 10 internet, like, iconic Just photos. a while ago? Yeah, I think so. Oh, I'm, this is I'm Cyrus still really T.I. Who? Sideways hat T.I. Whoa. When you put the hat yeah, 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 yeah. perpendicular to his you face. You know what my favorite fashion trend was? <laughs> Nelly. <laughs> Please click that. <laughs> Mike Dude, jersey. This is like... <laughs> Sir! <laughs> is the he... jeans too. I don't He's think sick. it's Halloween because people around him are wearing normal clothes. Wow. It, this can't be... I mean, it Wait, is hold real, on. obviously. So crop top. Crop top. Yeah, anyways, well, I bought one. What color? Green. I'm a big green That's your guy. Problem. Huh? That's a problem. I disagree. Oh. I'm a green guy. Have you I don't know what happened. Green guy? I'm also a wine guy now. You're wearing normal socks. You went back and came back a new man. No, 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 no. These wine are, guy. These are just because my other socks are dirty. I'm not a normal socks guy. I'll never be. I'm a wine guy. I did a wine tasting. You have to in Santa, Santa Barbara. Barbara. Yeah. But did you to. spit it out after each sip? Nope. I got hammered, bro. Yeah. It was it was like 1 p.m. 
Went outside. I was like, what's happening? You're officially a white man. <laughs> That's what you do. You drink wine at 1 p.m. and you go, ah, see, huh? I think so. And then oh. you dream about Crab Eggs Benedict. Crab Eggs Benedict. Dude, we're at a fucking farmer's market. I'm in love. We're at a farmer's market. <laughs> <laughs> Someone was walking around with a crab in a bag. You heard what I said? Uh, alive? A fucking alive crab in a bag. Alive? It was like this. Was she bought it as a pet or about to cook? I think cook. It was pretty big. In a bag. Like a tote bag? Oh, no, 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 no. Like a plastic bag. Okay. Walking around the farmer's market farmer's with a crab hilarious. in a bag. Has anybody ever yelled at a farmer's market? It seems so like NPR, just like, hey, how are you? And then we're going to walk over here. We have that yeah. dragon fruit over there. A lot of kumquats. What does that mean? Just, I'm just saying, they have a lot of weird fruit around there. Yeah. They love pickles, too. Well, you went to Santa Barbara. I did. For Valentine's Day. And to celebrate Presidents. Oh. Presidents Day. What was Monday? Oh, nice. Yeah. What did you do? FDR. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck during the rain. Yeah. Yep. <clears throat> yeah. The rain, um, I'm sick of it. What is somebody, going on? Stop it. I, it's like somebody left a hose on upstairs and God's taking a nap. Yeah. I like that. My fucking neighbor upstairs won't shut up. Have you confronted him? I'm 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 close to it. Here's what you should do. You should do Morse code on your ceiling, but like, and that means shut the fuck up. Yeah, but it's but it's not it? it's not on purpose. I think it's the way the gentleman walks. But it's like it's getting to a point where I'm like, bro, we gotta be respectful. So what would you suggest to him? Like, is it the shoes? Is it just that? Is it the shitty ceiling? It's just, uh, I think it's maybe a combination of both, but I think it's just, uh, you know, how some people just walk heavy. Do you know those people? I need to hear Thank it. Thank you. I think so, yeah. Like, there's uh, certain can places. I, can I demonstrate? It's, it sounds like this. You know how people walk? They go like this. Yeah, but they I. They walk I, heavy. Is, it might be the shoes they're wearing. It might just be thin ceiling. I don't know. I think of a combination of both. I mean, I've been at an Airbnb where it's like somebody upstairs walking, the whole house is shaking. Yeah. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. yeah. But like, what would you recommend? I mean, I think I, I think I might be fucked because yeah, I think you are. some people just walk heavy. So I can't be like, hey man, can you change the way that you've been walking for forty three years? Dude, what if you walk up there? He's a paraplegic. He has two metal legs. You walk up there. What's your opening line? Hey man, I was wondering if you could. Holy shit. Look at those legs. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, I, don't, I would go Oscar Pistorius. What? Oscar Pistorius. I didn't get it. I don't get it either. <laughs> you didn't get Oscar Pistorius? Let's go. Jack, do you get it? No, I don't get it. Let's you don't go. get Oscar? Oh, for three. <laughs> Guys! My man had metal. He had cut off leg. Cut off legs. <laughs> He had no legs. Should he, I? He won. No, no, hold on. Let me let me walk you through it before you do this. This is a major news story, and I think you guys are dumb. Uh, no, Please, I someone you. Google I it. Hear you. And then he shot his fucking girlfriend. What? <laughs> Wait. So he's a bad guy? What's Not his a good name? Guy. Oscar <laughs> Pistorius. Motherfucker. Oh. We've been talking about this for three minutes, and no one Googled it! <laughs> he's a runner. Yes! Well. With no luck. Well, yeah, yeah. He shot his girlfriend? Yeah, he had boomerang legs. Here's Wait, what I, you do. Give it to me. You know when you're on a flight <clears throat> and you have an aisle seat? Yeah. You see someone do a window, you're like, hey man, did you want an aisle by chance? Or vice right. versa. Yeah. Hey man, you're probably tired of taking the stairs all the way up, man. Yeah. You, you want no a legs. shorter walk? <laughs> you want a shorter walk? Let's switch apartments real quick. I now think you're on top. And I would goes, love to be on top. Yeah. Here's the problem though. I'm pretty sure that the floor above me, or they're all penthouses. So I don't think he's gonna wanna switch with me. Fuck no. Well, now he's a rich guy walking well? Yeah. He's gonna walk even harder. I, that's what, I think he just- He's gonna go, Colgate! <laughs> Not an ad! <laughs> um, I think if I, but realistically, DJ. I think if I, just, if, Klotkin, if I wall, uh, if I talk to him, but hey man, it's pretty loud sometimes when you walk. Would you mind walking like a little softer? I think he would be like, oh man, no problem. I don't think so. It's that's it, just how he is his whole life. It's. I'm gonna take a video of it next time. It's do it bad. My girl and I literally have a fucking name for him. It's so bad. What is it? You ever start a thing with a significant other and then it and then it's it's like a dog's name. It starts like a dog's name and then it, it becomes Captain GG of the USS. I love you. So we call him Heepy. 
it's based on hippopotamus. But if you say hippopotamus in a Latin flair, you go hippopotamus, and then hippy for short. Hippopotamus, what we call him. I should have just said that, but I didn't. I just walked it through to the love for no reason. So you bought a butt plug with a tail on it. Let me tell you a secret. We were in Santa. Look at this. Heap, heap up anonymous. <laughs> tell us about fucking. Dude. And then I'll do the same. Dude. Because I got, I got news. What do you mean? I got news. You got big news? I, I crest in the studio. We're going to start with yours. I crest in the studio. We're going to start with I yours. I had intercourse in the podcast studio. Where? What wait, wait, mean, wait, where? wait, 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 no. wait, 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 wait. I got a phone call from Trevor the other day. Was this the same day? Were you asking about the lights? No. No, okay, no, okay, no, okay. no, no, no. That was separate. That was separate. <laughs> Fuck no. What do I want to turn on fucking these goddamn red and blue LED lights? What does the president say? <laughs> it was. Right. Red, white, and blue. Blue chew. Put it in. Not I had an sex ad. in here. I had sex in here. Penis in and wh- vagina. Where? Penis and vagina. Where? Guess. On your chair. That's one of them. On the couch. That's one of them. That couch had been oh. fucked on. Yeah. You're not sitting on it. Motherfucker sniff the air. Okay. And then your office? No, just boom, boom. These two? Yep. On the ground? Nope. It was Dave quick. Sure? It was quick. It was more so because I, I had to grab a camera coming back from here after or yeah. something. And I was like, you know what? It's never been done. Yeah. And I was like, you know, this is a weird pitch. Intercourse question mark? Yeah. Yeah. We did it. Stand up. Doggy? I was sitting. I was sitting in the chair. Doing, she, I was doing ad reads. She was on top of me. And she turned around or legs She like was that? facing the camera. Oh, it's so hot. But there's no camera. The camera wasn't on. Intercourse. Intercourse. Did sex. Did you like, hey, this is like, I got to come fast type thing? Or did you just like, fuck? It was just out? a few. Yeah. It was just a quick one too. And you didn't f- come? No, not then. Motherfuckers Went home. be doing that. Went edging. Motherfuckers be like fucking for like two minutes and then be like, all right, we got to wrap it up. No. I need to come. Well, I knew, I, start, I knew what was in um, in store if I drove home. Got it. Yeah, because the last thing I want to do is come and then be in a fucking stagnant-ass shitty building. I don't know. I think it's it's surgical, but in a hot way. No, I need to come and lay down immediately. That's true. Dude, come had recently been making me energized. I come at like 2 in the morning, I'm like, I'm going to go do a puzzle. <laughs> like, I'm like, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, I'm like ready Dude, to do I something. Am the opposite. I am out. It's like I, melatonin just entered my body. Yes. Semen exited, melatonin entered. Well, last night that happened to me. I was asleep before she came out of the bathroom. To She needs to pee, obviously. No UTIs. We're out of UTIs. She, I, I was already asleep. She yeah. woke me up. What? Let me sleep? I was, I was on the wrong pillow. Ah. Uh. I was on, it was actually really sweet, actually. Because I told you, I have like aer, aeronomic, aer, aeronomic? Okay. Aerodynamic? Aeronomic? What the? Pillow? F- what are you uh, saying? Ergonomic. Ergonomic, thank you. What does that mean? It, the pillow it, got thick curves? It looks like, it, it kind of looks like a hot ass woman, but it, it, look, it looks like this. Women are hot. Little little curve action? Yes. So I can put my, because if curvaceous. I don't. Curvaceous. Curvaceous, because if I don't have a neck support like that, I have a chance of getting a massive fucking headache. Whoa. Yeah, so she's very sweet. She's like, sweetie, you have to. Do you bring that with you on the flight? Um, I the- don't. I don't. Like an idiot. Uh, I should, but I don't. Sometimes I'm just waking up at Airbnb with massive headaches because I'm stupid and didn't bring my shit. Uh, anyways, yeah. but yeah, but uh, but so I'm like I'm like 50-50 because sometimes I'll be sleeps immediately underneath the fan. Let's go. And then sometimes I'm like, bro, how do you feel about uh, doing Mad Libs right now? Yeah. What is that? I don't I don't know if I've ever had that. You never been like, I'm ooh, I'm always awake? exhausted. Do you like board games? I like them with people. <laughs> No, you know what I mean. Just yeah, like, not alone. No, but like just you and one other person. Oh, I see what you're saying. Like I want to. I try to pay. I try to play poker with my girl. It was fun. Just you two. Yeah, it was fun. But then after like ten minutes, like, all who right. was the fucking dealer? I'm all in. <laughs> like what? Yeah, we get bored. It gets a little bored. No, po- here, 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 here. Yeah, poker with two people is, is not is is boring. I love a good. What I'm saying you is, you play war. You could. You play war. We played this game called Solar Quest. That's really fun. Solar Quest. Solar Quest. It's Talk Monopoly, but for virgins. What? What? Talk about Foxtail. The Foxtail. There's not. A, the thing is, I'm like, I'm not even. <clears throat> it's, it's, it, it's just what exactly happened. There wasn't like anything like, ooh, and this happened. Do you know what I mean? It's like literally just think about during intercourse. Yes. And <clears throat> then you, then you, you, you lube it all up, which I put 
so much baby oil in this thing. I was like, I don't, because I've never used a butt plug before. So in I didn't. Yourself? Uh, I wish I put it on myself. Mm. I didn't. I would have started with that if I fucking put it in foxtail on my ass. Yeah. But so I, I baby oiled it up and, and then slowly insert because I didn't know how fast yeah, to go. Yeah, yeah. Slowly inserted it. Let me tell you a motherfucking secret. It was visually, it might have been the hottest thing I've ever seen. Doug. She was. She was. She was a fox, though. And it was, I don't think it's usable again. There is so much oil on the fur that it is a problem. <laughs> like, I packed Looks it. Looks like a seal. <laughs> like, I packed it, and I put it in a sock. So I was like, it's going to get everywhere. <laughs> it was drenched even days after. It was, like, moist still. Ugh. Yeah. Yeah. But visually, she was, like, on her stomach, and the foxtail was, like, just kind of over. <laughs> Fuck me. had a hard thing about it. <laughs> Oh, and the collar leash. Bitch. Talk about it. I'm gonna. Dude, <clears throat> putting, here's the funny thing. Uh -huh. Putting it on was the hottest part because there was one point where I thought I had it pretty taut and then she goes, tighter. <laughs> tighter? Did anyone not fucking hear me? <laughs> I did. Tighter. Yeah. It was tight. And then she was like, just. That's how I like when they're cutting my hair and they put the bib on me. One more tighter. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Give me a three in the back. <laughs> Two on the top. Two yeah. on the top. It's just reverse. God damn. Today's episode is sponsored by none other than us. Us. Guys, patreon.com. You know what? Instead of me blabbing about it, why don't you hear this freaking incredible highlight? It seems so corny to me to be like, just a second. When I take you down. It is. It's then she's picturing Chris Brown and not you. A hundred percent. Why the fuck would you picture me when she can picture Chris Brown? Chris Brown's so hot with a fucking hog. And I have red seeds with a mid dick. <laughs> <laughs> So, if you want more of those incredible episodes, bonus episodes, dropping every Friday, ad-free, go to patreon.com backslash stiffsockspod. Or, if you're an Apple user, uh, it is Stiff Socks Plus. Okay, it's super easy. You scan your face, you get the Apple Pay, boom, 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 it populates into your uh, already feed. It is amazing. Go check that out. Um, Apple Plus is audio only. Patreon is audio and a uh, video. So, go get it. It's incredible. Tell a friend. We love you. Back to the episode. God damn. It's always confusing when you go to a, a barbershop or salon and they give you like the little shoulder massage at the end. It's like, this is too intimate. I don't you like know? it. Don't touch me. Uh, so <laughs> do yeah, my they have random little finishes that I, I love when they do the hot, I almost said <gasps> sour cream. <laughs> oh, the hot cream and the straight razor oh, on the yeah. back. Yeah. Oh! You know what they used to do in my old place in uh, in LA? What am I talking about? I, don't, I still live here. Um, Hot. With a little bit of essential oils on it. Mm. Oh, on your face. Oh, fuck. I can't you know, it's crazy. It. You can just do that at home. Can't. It's not the same. I mean, can. You know what I mean? It's like going to TJ Fries. I'm like, oh, I can make this at home. Can you? It's going to be trash. It's going to be trash. There's something about, uh, something about a hairy man putting that thing on your... Speaking of hairy men. Oh. Hold on. Let me finish the... <clears throat> the, the so there was a foxtail happening. Yes. Insert. Yes. Um, and I didn't realize this was going to happen. There's a knob on it. A little knob. On the who? On the anal bead part of the tail to get it in there. A, a, like a ball bearing. Ye like a butt plug. Yeah, yes. Yeah, like, yes, like yes, this, but yeah. like a ball bearing, steel, whatever. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> but since it's shaped like this, like a massive almond, when I'm fucking, I didn't know I was getting a pleasure off this. It makes the cooch have like this undulation that wasn't there before. Because it's pushing in? Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, my fuck. Unbelievable. Top notch, I will say. Unbelievable. Yeah. So we got that happening, the foxtail, and then the collar, and then... God, I just want Sir, housekeeping to walk in so bad. I would have fucked a housekeeper, too. <laughs> I was ready to go, dog. I, li I would have fucked an old MacBook. I don't give a shit. <laughs> Those was, things get hot. <laughs> I was ready to go. So... So... Like the position when she was like on her stomach, my favorite position, she's on her stomach and her legs are together. Yes. And I'm on top. Foxtail's kind of swimming, swimming, you know, as I'm fucking. The, the collar's on, right? Tight. And then I have a leash that is attached to the collar. And I am wrapping it around my hand to make it tighter. And I'm pulling a little. I, dog, yes, she was. Dude, I 
this was it it was it was so what I needed in my life. <gasps> like I don't know if I can ever do it regular again. Better than therapy? Fuck a therapist. I woulda. Dude, it it was it was unbelievable cuz you know I'm all about control, the control that I have with this yeah, fucking Daddy leash. had the tennis ball. Mm, dude, let me tell you. Daddy had everything. Daddy had everything. And, and how long did this go on? I edged and, myself to oblivion. I was yeah. not going to come. I mean, probably upwards of like an hour. What? Yes. Oh, shit. Positions. Oh, also, the, my other favorite position, with, where she's on the, the corner of the bed and her, and her legs are up. So like this on the corner of the yes, bed, yes, like that. Yes, like yes. That, I'm standing. The tail just kind of comes down. So the tail is always in play. I grabbed the tail at one point because I can move the tail a little bit as I'm fucking. So it's like double penetration. Uh, Fuck. It's so good. How did she like it? Was she like. In. Yeah. In. I mean, I would imagine that was like a, maybe a first for her. You know what's interesting? Didn't ask. I'm assuming for sure. Yeah. First for me, both things. Yeah. Never had a goddamn leash and collar. Dude, the leash. Fuck. And everything was like black and leather. Something about what? What is what that? Th what time of day was this? Um, I should say morning. I'm gonna be honest. I think the sun was out still. It wasn't. It was. We're getting to night. I don't think it was night. Pre or post wine tasting? Different day. Div. Hmm. Same day. Same day. Pre or post wine tasting? Post wine tasting. Bros off a of Merlot, teaching her how to bark, bark. Yo, hammered. Dog, dude, hammered, straight up a, a Syrah mixed <coughs> blend. What the fuck it's called? Yeah. I'm a wine guy. It was un... I just, what is it about like, like black leather? What is that? That's just like fucking... BDSM? Yes. So I mean, there's you, something to that. Do you think the, that, that's final form? Or, you, or is that only the tip of the iceberg? Maybe step two out of 10 steps. Yeah, I I think there was something about the the texture of like the black leather and like the chain because the actual leash was like a chain. Oh, yeah, and then the handle was like this metal and metal, uh, like this leather handle. So there's something about it was the, meant for sexual activities. Y yeah, yeah, I don't think it was meant for a golden doodle. <laughs> I think it was, Maybe. Yeah, pimples have crazy chains. Yeah, it looks sort of like that. And where was Gigi in this equation? Uh, she was in her, how do I say, hush. In the room? We, it was, we were in, we were in a hotel, yeah. Mm. Yeah. She did, did she, some, go ahead. Did she see the, <clears throat> the leash and get excited? I wish I could say yes, but she did do a lot of the investigation because the leash and collar were on the nightstand when she's we finished. Like, who the hell? She, she's like, is there another dog? Yeah. God damn. Um, yeah. I, I found out scientifically why leather is sexy. Yes. This is going to make you hard. Uh, the way leather adjusts to the body as well as stimulation of senses gives off a sensual notion. Leather can be soft, luscious, tight, and emit a slight shine that shows its tactile properties. Yes. Many people love to touch soft leather. It also has a distinct scent, and soft leather may produce a gentle crinkle. Fuck. Dude. I'm in. I'm that's so hot. in. That's hot. Fuck. You know, that's why Catwoman's so hot. Yeah. Which just hugs the curves. God. And you're like, what is behind there? I must know. Fuck. Dude, I saw Amber Rose and Black China. Where they're wearing like a leather suit like seven years ago when I had my old job at yeah. this award show thing I was at. Yeah. I'll never get that image out of my head. They, I mean, voluptuous. Oh. Gorgeous. Curves. Rec, Park 10 yeah. Tahoe's on it. Dude, I, I'm in, I, you know, I might be an ass guy now. I'm coming full circle with this. Yeah. Ass is incredible. But like, yes. You just hit your ass life crisis. Whoa. Title? I love the title. Yeah, you, you just see what's fully going on over there. <sighs> it's just like, dude. You're a man now. That's what it is. I think you just I had your bar mitzvah. Bark mitzvah. Now that might be the title. <laughs> um, it's just, but the funny thing is, I already said before, it's not ass. I think it's just her ass that I'm very into. In love. Yeah. And I'm not sick of it. Good. I'm cute. Yeah. 
Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. You said you have. To, oh, you that was the the fucking. I did that. Okay, yeah. And then, and then, you'll then, order like you order like a, a cornucopia of butt plugs. I heard a three. That's a cornucopia. That is. Three's company. Where did they go? That's a show. Three's company. Where did they go? In the ass. All of them? Uh, yeah. No, I, I, I just used the smallest one. Because similar to you, never put anything in there. Yeah. So I didn't know what to do. A uh, lot, of, lot of lube on there. Have to. First of all, I bought both these on Amazon. Some guy was driving, burning fucking vehicular goddamn gasoline. Probably losing his hip socks. To dropping off butt plugs. <sighs> Great. Do they know what they're dropping off all the time? Probably. I, ho I hope they do. In and around. But yeah, oil, butt plugs, we're doing it. We're in there. Little little heart, just looking at me. Little uh Rhinestone. Rhinestone. I gotcha. Isn't that cute? Rhinestones are either on like the hood of a Barbie Jeep or just a butt plug. Yeah, rhinestones are used in a, in a number of ways. Yeah. Um, okay. So you got it in there. Got at it what, in there. At what time did this start? Like like in, in, was, in the in the experience, I mean. Was it early? Was it like, hey man, let's get yeah, that was kind of before the goal. we start? That was kind of oh yeah. How did I forget? I don't Vibrating know. Vibrating undies. Talk about me undies. Yes. More like mm, fuck me undies. <laughs> Not an ad. The butt plug was cool. I think we were both like, oh, we tried it. It was fun. It was something cool to look at, you know. Um, so did did she enjoy it? She said it felt good. Right. So it was like a different feeling. Have you ever, uh, and you can not tell me this if you don't want to tell me this. Did you, have you ever put the P in the B, the previous? With her, no. Yes, okay. But in general, I have done, I've been, I've been down. Yeah, the, you've been, you've, you've been down the old yeah. brown road. I've taken the dirt road, as they say. Yeah. I've taken the unpaved path. You've taken the Jeep Wrangler out on the little yeah. mud farm. I've done a little say. four by four fucking. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah. That's all anal is, is four by four fucking. That's it. Off-roading. It's, it's, Off it's a tough mutter, but in bed. Tough mutter. <laughs> Imagine calling your company tough mutter. Imagine doing one. People Imagine People signing up. They, they look, it actually look fun. Look fun. Okay. Good. So, I, I was on some wholesome shit for Valentine's Day. Really? Made homemade pasta. Oh, yeah, you told me about this. Made this so fucking like chicken parm. Dude, it was so fucking good. Gluten-free gluten -free homemade pasta. It was... Remind me I have something to say about gluten-free. What? Remind me I have something to say about gluten-free. You have something to say about gluten-free? Yeah, remind me. I, sorry, I, didn't I'm not, put a, I don't yeah. want to derail this. Making food. Uh, there was honestly so much food that afterwards we were fucking, I got a cramp. I was like, God damn. I don't think I need the food. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> no, it for sure. I was like, oh, I ate too much. It was so good though. Fucking like this, like spicy marinara with uh, mozzarella on top. Fuck. Good. But so after, uh, while I'm cooking, I'm doing this all while she's like watching. I was like, ah, fuck, should have made this beforehand. I was like, oh, I got vibrant. Why is she watching? Because I was doing a meal for her. Oh, for her. Okay, got it. Any other <laughs> night. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> get that woman in the kit. No. So I go, oh, you know, oh, I remember I also Amazon the vibrating underwear. So you make eggplant parmesan while you sorry. Go yes. ahead. Yes. No. So I was like, hey, put these on, right? And she did. And I had the remote, the yeah. controller. And I was like, I'm not gonna Roll cool that pussy. She <laughs> 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 made 70,000 titles on this. But I was like, I'm not gonna tell you when I'm gonna like do it. Yeah. She's like, all right. And then I'm just what is she doing right now? She's sitting, watching like me watching roll something? out pasta. Okay. She's watching something on TV? Uh, no. Or just, oh, just, just, you guys are talking, she's talking. Watching. Got it. Going back, I'm rolling out pasta. Yeah, yeah. I go to get some saran wrap, turn the corner. <laughs> she jumps up. She's, oh, fuck. <laughs> I forgot about it. It was so hot. Did, like, did she like it or was it just like getting hit think, by a water I, balloon? I think everything. I think okay. everything. It was, it was just like a rush of emotions. We're not expecting to get like a, uh, yeah. It's like getting so a finger hot. in your ass. It was so hot. You got the DMV, you're like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah. yeah what? Oh, but. I'm into it. Yeah, 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 so I did that. But then later on, we used that while intercoursing. Yeah. I mean, that's the only way I think to, I mean, it was, she got to where she needed to be quickly. There was, there was a direct flight. Really? There was no connection. It was like buzz, 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 buzz. Ah! Real, quick. How it's, quick? It, and, and this might be too much. Good. And I'm sorry if I'm saying this. It's okay. But I'm a man with a podcast called Stiff Socks. I don't make smart decisions. She goes, no man. Say it. 
has ever Say it. made me finish in yep. sex. And I was like, what do you mean? First of all, in my head, I'm like, that's, that's men. We out here. That's what we're known for. Wasn't Not it? making women finish, but we do. She goes, no man has ever made me do it. I was like, what do you mean? She's been in a long relationship, short relationship, one night stands, whatever. I did say she, like she's been around the block. She slept with like three people. Did she, um, was she saying this to you like right? Like, no, I knew. Or, I knew. You just knew. I knew, but, but in my head, I have a co-host, Michael Blaustein. Yeah. Who, in some sense <clears throat> of ways, say like, I will, I, it, Let me it conquer can be that. done. Let me conquer that. It Let can be go. done. Yeah. So in my head, I'm like, no, like this is, we got to, we got a joint effort to this. Yeah. I got to bring in the, the Autobots. Uh-oh. Autobots roll out. So yeah. I'm in there. Sean Autobots back, on the bed. clip. I'm, st- <laughs> I'm standing, <laughs> I'm using the buzz buzz. And she was like, she's like, I won't try it. Right. Do it. The face that was made. Okay, hold on. I don't have the visual. I don't have, I don't have the visual. I mean, I'm not, I don't want the visual, but you know what I mean? I don't, I don't have the visual. So the, the buzz, like the buzz. I'm standing, buzz, she's on our back. Legs are, uh, 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 up. Okay. And then she has the panties still on? No, I, I took them out. I, cause it just comes with like a little buzz, buzz, little, little, like, it looks like a little, just a tootsie roll. Yep. Okay. Maybe so, a bigger one. King size. So she has the king size. So she has the king size tootsie roll on there. Are you holding them? <clears throat> Both. Both of you guys are holding Like it. I was holding and she was holding it, I was like taking turns. Got it. Okay. Got it. But then it was like immediate. And I think it was years of guys not making her finish that that one finally happened. Look, listen, I don't even know if I was in her or if it was just the vibrator, but holy shit, it was hot. Yeah. I did nothing. I mean, yeah. I did, but I was I was in there, but I don't think I was the one really no. driving home. But we the never face. Were. Yeah. If the vibrator's out, we're like, we're, you know what we are? The the vibrator is the bus driver, right? Yeah. We're in the back of the bus. Yeah. We're there. The vibrator is the hibachi chef. We're the guy handing the eggs to the chef. I don't even know if we're handing eggs, dude. Are we even working that shift? No. I think we're literally off. It sometimes feels like that. No, but but this felt like a joint. It felt like I hit a, yeah. a, a star in Mario Kart, and I was like, yeah. Doo, 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 doo. And then we're in there, but like just feel like the eyes were like roll. Like one eye was this way, the other eye was yeah. that way. I mean, it looked like she was trying to follow birds or something. It, I mean, it was so hot. It looked it like, like an this. iguana. Yeah, it was like oh. this. But said it was the first time, and I believe it. But it's not the first time she's ever finished from sex. Got it. Got it. Yeah, she's like, I can do this on my own whenever. But yeah. first time finishing during sex. I mean, honestly, dude. No. Was this during Valentine's Day? Oh yeah. Yeah. Dude, happy fucking Valentine's Day. What a gift. What a gift. What a what a woman. That is my part as uh being a feminist icon is yeah. is she's been through, you know, men who didn't make her finish. And and she's she just hasn't been with literally anyone. It's been like yeah. three or four three. people. Yeah, so yeah. it's like this was like I conquered. I was the guy who pulled the sword out of the stone. I'm Arthur. King you're, Arthur. You're King Arthur. King Arthur. Dude, that's incredible. And King instead Arthur, of that cooter. In, ooh, ooh. You know what to say. Yep. And instead of the sword, you pulled out the vibrator. I did pull out. That's Did you? Yeah. Okay. I don't huh. want to pull out anymore. Oh, okay. I've never done it, but I just, not in my life, Wait, just with presently. But on some control? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay, yeah. okay. But I, I just, I, I've never, you guys know this. I don't. Do we? Well, no, no, I don't. It's not like something I, I like to do. Finish in? Yeah. You You're have an on to. guy. Huh? You're an on I'm guy. I'm an on guy. Yeah. yeah, I'm control. I'm the master. Go. Yeah. I'm the captain now. <laughs> no. <laughs> Banned. So hot, though. That is so hot. Dude, what a great Valentine's Day. Great Valentine's Day. Um. How was your Valentine's Day, Gabe? It was nice. We didn't do Valentine's Day itself. We didn't uh, celebrate. Next day, we did couples massages. Hey, and ooh, then oh, yeah. uh, we went to uh, the fucking all the the Vanderpump Rules restaurant bar situation. How was it? Cool for her. She loves that show. This is actually really funny. So there's a dude on that show. This guy Peter. He's like the manager of the restaurant. He's been on the show since season one. Like very recognizable face. Um, he was on a random Thursday night. This restaurant is not packed. He's just there hanging out. Is he working? He's wearing a uniform like he's working, but I'm kind of wondering if he just like hangs out there because like he can just like 
meet women like super well, easy. It's, you know? it's kind of like where you're like the most chance of being known. Seen, yeah. True. Yeah, yeah. It's like you're, I mean, that's your hangout. That's your yeah. spot. It's like it a place where you a feel. Little, it does seem a little like egotistical or whatever the word I'm trying to find is. It's, I don't know. It seems I, a little I, sad to be honest. He, I mean, he was a nice guy, friendly guy. Um, but it also but seems like funny. that's a place where you can just always hang. Like that's his like stomping ground. True. You know? Yeah. And maybe he also, I don't know what like his, because like I, in my brain, I'm like, oh, you've been on TV for fucking eight years. Like, why are you still working as like the fucking manager of this restaurant? But probably the deal is more like, it's good for our restaurant to yeah. have you here. So yeah. his bag's probably a lot different than just like Dude, a honestly, a free meal. Thing. Pull up, get a free meal. True. I will say though, like even if, like maybe even before the the show got popular, he like really thoroughly enjoyed being a manager of a restaurant. Like working at restaurants, True. I've said this most times, like it's, so, it's really, really fun. Yeah. So like even if you're bagged out and you don't have to do it, I can see a world where like, you're like, yeah, but I still like, like to do it. And what you were saying, like it's good for the restaurant yeah. if he yeah. was working. Yeah. There is nothing funnier than when you're in line at like a Chipotle and a, an employee walks in who's not working that day and they're like, what's up? Yeah. Oh my God. Go you're home. You're just slowing down the process. Go home. Go home or cut chicken. You got two <laughs> options. Two fucking options. Oh, Lord. Um, oh. Gluten-free. Gluten-free and couple couple massage. Gluten-free and couple massage. So the next day, we got uh, Santa Barbara again. Went and couples massage, right? Oh. Yeah. So we walk into this place. And we were greeted by two of the weirdest people I've ever met in my life. No, no, no. They were weirder than you think. <laughs> yeah. They were like two Compared older, to our old landlord. Like, for real, bro? Like, that energy. Whoa. Just odd. And like, very like, like, both Col of them were like this. Santa Barbara. Col they work for Ellen. Colty. Is, is, that a, is that a real thing? Colt? Yeah. Oh, no, I know Colts are real, but is Santa Barbara like a culty place? I mean, it's not. It, not. it felt, it, you know what, dude? It felt very Think cool. about it. Think about it. What are yeah. you doing in Santa Barbara? You're not close to LA. There's no skyscrapers. Nobody does jobs there. This is all wrong. They do. But like, it feels <laughs> no like a place. No one does There's jobs there. It's hilarious. Look around. Where's one skyscraper? There's a few. But it's just yeah. a town. It's just like, yeah. you make Chiba Hut sandwiches. You go on a longboard and you're like, oh, cool. This guy in a cloak wants to recruit me. Yeah. Scientology. Sounds fun. I love science. I love math and science. All right. So we walk in and this, we're greeted by two of these people who are probably both 50. I, I know, probably both 60, right? Not an ad. Not an ad. <laughs> 50 or 60. He's like, it's massage envy is the place. Not an ad. <laughs> no, 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 no. Let me tell you, pause. The price... No massage. <laughs> Santa Barbara's expensive. Stupid. Santa Barbara's expensive. Dumb. It's uh, that's what it is. But it, you just pay for like we're near an ocean. Isn't that funny? You're near an ocean, so you get to make money off the ocean. Give it to the fish. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, give it to the fish. Now we're doing market price. Fuck a market price. So we walk into this massage place. Have I said this before? So we walk into this massage place. Two Fifty people. to sixty. Fifty to sixty. Not, a massage. Not an ad. Not massage envy. And they literally at the, they start talking in unison. They're like, hi. Don't say that to me. Don't say hi like that. Yeah, okay. You fucking creepo. Uh -huh. Creep. Yeah. And then I go, oh, so you're here for a couple massage. Talk louder. If there's no one here. Talk louder. A therapeutic. Don't like it. It felt fake. And they had just the weirdest, creepy cult energy is exactly what I wanted. So my girl and I, we walk in uh, to the actual room. And then they just, they're just standing around. Yes, you guys can get ready and, and put your... Uh, shoes over here and and hang your jackets right here and uh you know just if you want you can just fold your shirts right here i know how clothes work bitch <laughs> get out they're there for too long mm -hmm. it's fucking weird it's weird it is so weird the door shuts i look at my girl and go is this not the weirdest and she goes this is so weird i go i i'm not joking i literally go i'm going to look for cameras like, it was so weird. I looked around. There was, I mean, whatever. I don't know fucking work camera. I don't work for Simply Safe. That's funny. <laughs> I'm mad. <laughs> <laughs> Motherfuckers said Colgate, not an ad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think this sounds weird at all. Sir! Get to the weird part. It's weird. That's it? No. So they come back in too soon, mind you. Give us some time to get naked. Do you go naked? Uh, I go up to, uh, up to boxers. Yeah, me too. My girl goes naked. She makes fun of me that I don't go naked. I'm not going naked. 
I don't know the fuck this guy is. I don't know who he voted for. <laughs> like, I don't, I don't yeah, know yeah. this person. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. I just got nothing to show down there. Uh, none. <laughs> Zero. So <clears throat> they start massaging. It's still the fucking energy is super weird. They're, the guy's talking to me. Don't talk to me. Touch my body. Are you a guy, guy want massager or a lady? Care. Oh, I'm a, I'm a dude all the way. Give really? me that fucking hot stinking cheese. I need those warm fucking, I don't have a dad fingers. You know what I mean? Those fucking, yeah. just give me the meat sticks. Well, you have those fingers. Exactly. Give me the meat sticks, you know? Really hardness. So we finish the massage, whatever, whatever. It's fucking weird. I don't care what you say. I'm not painting this properly. Weird energy. I get in the shower afterwards. My back, my back has fucking nail uh, scrapes. All over it. From him or the night before? From my man. He had these fingernails that were digging into me. Did it feel good? It did at the time. And now I'm cut up like I got in fight with a with Pluto. Pluto. Dog. Are they still on there? Yeah. Or this, I don't know. You want to see? Yeah. Are not, they? Not really, no. Really? Uh-uh. What the fuck? Nothing? No. Maybe it's not. Maybe not. What's that one up at the top? Uh, Is that one? Yeah, maybe I'm just not. Hot. Oh. Like up on a shoulder. Oh, there we go. Thumbnail time. There yeah. we go. I see one. There's one. The, Dude, my back was all like, fucked up. Like, like this. It's like uh, whatever. Whatever. He fucked me up, dude. He fucked me up, and I was sick of it. Um, and my girl said it was the worst massage she ever got in her life. Really? Literally, I heard her say, "Um, thank you, but can you do it harder?" Probably seven to eight times. I've never really. Seven I've times. Never said that in a massage. I'm always oh, less, oh, less. <laughs> Massages are really hit or miss, honestly. Sometimes they just yap. Yappuccino. They yap? Oh. I've never had anyone talk to Dude, me I, I, I had one uh, a couple months ago. It was like after touring a bunch. Sometimes I'll do that if I have like, me too? <clears throat> like six flights in a row. This lady just starts critiquing my back. And she's like, you fly a lot? And I'm like, yeah. So I got this. And then she's like, well, your posture. And then she starts rolling out. She gives me a tennis ball. And she goes, this is what you can do. She starts stretching me out. Which granted, I felt better the next day. But like, I'm in pain. I just want to like a therapeutic yeah. massage where you just just poke my back for like an hour and just kind of rub shit around. But she's legit like I'm on my back and she's like doing my legs up. She's like fucking me up. And I was like, oh, no, I just want like therapeutic. She's like, yeah, like I'm going to give you the sports massage. I was like, oh, I didn't really want it. But I'm I, I'm not confrontational. I'm just like, OK, because in my head, I'm like, oh, maybe I'll feel better after. Yep. Terrible trash. Yeah. Dude, there's one by me where they did the cupping thing and it's in a salt room. Oh, yeah. We never fucking love it. We never talked about the cupping. How does that feel? You feel really good after. Really? Yeah. What's I kind of get what, it. What's this salt thing happening? What is that? Uh, it's good for, you know, they're hitting buzzwords. It's good for inflammation. He did say something. He's like, you're going to sleep the best you've ever slept for like the next couple nights. And I slept amazing. So it's just like you just breathe in sodium? Well, it's a mixture. The walls are salt, but then they put like a mixture in the air. How that do has they something. do that? I don't How know. How do you make the wall? First of all. think about the next ahead. place that buys an office. What the fuck are they going to do? You yeah, know? what? Well, what the fuck was happening in here prior to us buying this, buying this, renting it? But, dude, but like, how do you get salt walls? Dude, how do you do anything? Let me ask you this: How do you get walls? Walls? How do you make a wall? How do you make a building and it doesn't fall? Buildings blow my mind. What about if it's windy and then <clears throat> and then they go, yeah, but the building moves. moves with the wind. It breathes. What the fuck are you talking I, I about? I don't believe it. I couldn't build a gingerbread house. You want me to believe that a, a 78 story building in Miami is legal? It's crazy. You guys want to hear fucked up? How do you think they get a crane up there? Holy shit. A crane? A crane? Yeah, you know, like crane when they're building a building and they have a giant crane up on a fucking I skyscraper? Don't, I don't understand any of that. They, but how, how do they get the, do they do a crane to put the crane up there? Yeah, eventually they have to literally fucking uh, bring in all the components of a crane up and build the crane up on the skyscraper. I don't want to think uh, about that. None of this. Um, I don't think, I don't like it. Yeah. Absolutely. And then and, and then a fucking tornado. I mean, not a tornado. A uh, hurricane comes. What is it? Earthquake. Or, you, oh, the, oh, don't worry. The building's earthquake proof. What the f hell are you talking about? Blows my what mind. type of witchcraft are you guys doing here? Blows my mind. That's what's crazy. My friend lives in like a 70-story building, and he's on the 14th floor. And I'm like, yeah, okay. Uh -uh. All that pressure above? No. Nah. And I'm sure if we talked to someone who did this professionally, they'd mm -hmm. be like, oh, well, this is why it's not. But I don't trust anyone. No. I'm on the fourth floor, and I'm like, this is going to fall. Yeah, I, have a, I have a hippie. Hippie. <laughs> hippie Potamos. They use helicopters to bring cranes onto buildings, too. Dude, you know what be funny? Is if What's you, a helicopter? It's a uh, plane with wings. Anyways, <laughs> a, you know what would be funny? If you confront the guy for stepping too loud, and he goes, you think I like listening? You'd be like, oh, how? 
house, house. I think I fuck extra loud because of him. I'm not joking. You should fuck on the ceiling. All right. Crane. Give me a feeling. Crane. Gluten-free. You had a thing? Gluten-free. I went to a gluten-free restaurant. Sorry, I'm just keep talking about Santa Barbara. I was there for four days. Went to Santa Barbara. Gluten-free. I know. Gluten-free restaurant. Thought I was going to hate it. Bro. Gluten-free is getting good. Un-fucking believable. You have no idea. Gluten-free is getting good. Avocado toast. Fucking unbelievable. Bro, you, uh, the, and then the I had a Belgian waffle. Oh. Yes. Bitch. Belgian waffle. waffle. With raspberries. A. And strawberries. Whoa. And cream. And syrup. Dude, it was stupid. There's some waffle place by you that does a gluten-free one. I, I dream about it. It was one, I think it, maybe I said it. It was one of those where the guy says a price, like, man, fuck you. I hate this place. And you take yeah. a bite and you're like, oh, I love you. You did say this to me. Yeah, it's so goddamn good. Frick. Dude, waffles. What? Oh, oh, oh. Do we have time to talk shit about a lady? Sorry. We always have time. Great. I went to this omakase sushi thing. What the hell did you say to me? Omakase? Did omakase. Right? Where, where, where they pick the menu? They do it? Well, it's like, yeah, it's like a, it's like a thing. Oh, it's like, uh, 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 what's that place called? Sugarfish. Where you go, oh, I'll have to taste, taste me. Yeah, there's no uh, all have a. It's already preset. Oh, okay. Um, sushi by scratch. It's, it fucking Rogan loves it. He talks about it all the time. Okay. You know what I'm talking about? I, I, I don't, but he I'm, talks about I'm all down. the time. It's fucking unreal. I met the guy in Vegas. Okay. He's like, I have the place. Come by. And I tried to get it for Valentine's Day, but they oh. didn't have it. Okay. He's like, the next day, I was like, boom, perfect. Two part V day. Yeah. V day. Say it. Say it right now. <laughs> Say it right now. Put your hand in there. Bro, it was so good. What? You, I've Why? Never, you have to go. The fish was like the best. I was eating fish that I didn't think Nobu? I would like. Uh, the shit's on Nobu. Fuck Nobu you. Nobu looks like Wendy's compared to this bitch. For real. The fish was the best quality ever. And it was a lot of fish on there that I was like, I don't know if I'd ever order that because I'd be a little sus about it. Yeah. So clean. So crisp. But. Enough, Hell a bit. I don't know. Everything. Okay. There was 17 different like things. It was fucking phenomenal. It was so good. But enough. Not mad. <laughs> enough of that. This. So it's eight people sitting around a table. Now you're. No. All, so, but, so it's a chef. face someone. Uh, yeah, so we're sitting in front of the chef. The That's chef was fine. dope. The chef was cool. The, she the chef, the staff, everybody that, that worked there was awesome. But now you're just, I don't like being in a group with people. Like yeah. hibachi. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's like, like it. I want to be just us two. Yes. So everyone else was super chill. There's this lady, there's no. this guy and this girl next to me. I already knew she's going to be a little bit of a character when there's a waiting room before they take you back there. Okay. Like a she dentist's has, office. Sex here. Yeah. Thank you. Um, but yeah, there's like a, there's like a bar. It's dark. It's dim. You sit there, small booths. You sit there before they're taking them back. Before Love everybody it. gets there. Got it. This lady has a glass of water. Okay. And um, they go, oh, ma'am, you don't need to take that back there. Uh, they'll have water back. And she goes, yeah, but I don't want to waste it. No. So I'm already like, and we both looked at each other like, what the? Huh? Yeah. yeah. Right. So she brings water back there. And then we get back there, and then they're already pouring her water in her separate cup, and she goes, oh nope. I, I have my own water. I brought my own water. So now she has like two half full cups. Yeah. So she's just a character off the bat. She's very, just this type of person you can picture, right? And then maybe like, so there's 17 different pieces of sushi you get. And on the, maybe like the second or third one, she takes a bite and she goes, that one's not for me. Out loud. This is like, no one asked. This is a Michelin star yeah, sushi, yeah. like, and then the next bite she takes, she makes a face. And the sushi chef, God bless his heart, he goes, ma'am, do you like sushi? And she goes, I love it. He said that to her? Yeah, because like, it's kind of disrespectful to be like, that yeah. was not for me. Because the, each roll, I mean, it's like, they, it, I mean, uh, is there like a video? Go to their Instagram or something. Sushi by scratch. Fucking phenomenal. You have to go. Yeah, yeah. Each roll, it's like I mean, I they, love they, in sushi front of stuff. you. They cut right off the piece of fish. They put it on, and then they they scrub like the real wasabi root, and then they're putting like truffle oil, and they're like burning what? it with like a torch. Like it's unreal. It's not even like sushi. It's just like this bliss in your mouth. Like click that, like shit like that. Like it is, dude. You're a fucking Roganette, and you don't know about this place. Uh, -uh. this is Ro he's been on Rogan, Philip Franklin Lee. He's, oh, I know. It's yeah. so funny. I it's know his restaurant. Oh, okay, so, okay, I didn't so know that. So think about all this prep that's going in. Yeah, yeah. Right? All this prep, and then she goes, that one's not for me. And then the next one, 
Like, imagine you're doing a yeah, joke. Yeah. I didn't like that one. To nobody. Get out. To nobody. Also, take one of your 19 cups of fucking water and chase it down. Yeah. Right? And then, so the next one, she makes a face, and he goes, do you even like sushi? She goes, yeah, I love sushi. This is my favorite place. And he goes, how many times have you been here? She goes, one other time. No, she hasn't. It's just, I was like losing, and we're sitting right next to her. I'm like losing, and her, her boyfriend was actually really nice. But I'm just losing my mind. Like, I'm look at that. Beautiful. Dude, Whole, it is. That's art. It, I, I it think. It looks like everything bagel. Literally, it's probably what the, we should go there for as a company. It was the best food I think I've ever had in my life. And, and, and <sighs> because we've all, had, so we've all had good sushi. Yeah. We've all had, but like shits on Nobu. Like unreal. Like the shits quality. On it? Shits on it. Okay. Dude, it was uh, so fucking good. I can't believe, like, that is just the type of person that is so not aware of, like, life. I don't know what it was. It, it was, it wasn't, I don't know, like. You know, what, you know what the problem is? I'll tell you. The internet. Think? Yep. No one asked for your opinion. And the internet allows people to be like, oh, here's my opinion. No one gives a fuck. Right, 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 right. Well, it's, it's like. This, you're acting this, like this is a live Yelp review. Right. The chef's not looking for feedback. He's been doing this for years. He's got it. We, we were the youngest people in there by far. Like, this is okay. like, I mean, you go there as like, husband and wife. This is our nine-year anniversary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, okay, it was okay. fucking insanely nice. But just, I think also maybe the internet, because like, you know how you're watching like a Netflix special at home yep. and you might be yep. like, oh, I didn't like that joke. And then they say it out loud and you're like. We're at a comedy club. What are you talking about? I think she just felt like she was just like at home or like at a yeah. regular sushi place. Yeah. The guy is right there. But not even a regular sushi. Like, no, you should not say that out loud. You, if you don't like it, fine. That's totally fine. Lie. But you, lie. Lie. lie you or, fake an orgasm with your husband every night. 100%. Lie. Or just look over your husband and be like, I don't really like that one. Or there's a way. So that's fine. Yeah. That's fine. I, I'm sure The he's chef right in front of you is crazy right to say out loud. And it's a room of eight people. It's not like there's a kitchen in the back making a lot of like restaurant ambiance. It's a knife silently cutting. Oh, so when, he, when bitch, she said, I didn't know that. Oh, it's dude, silent I mean, in there. Yeah, it's, or, yeah. It's, it's eight people watching a chef slicing fish, which is silent. So when she goes, I don't know about that one for me. Oh. Oh, oh. oh real quick. How do I change that? Oh, do not disturb mode and go. That's insane. Why say that out loud? It's it, it, like there was one, I think out of 17, there was one that was like, that's not for me. But you just chew it as fast as you can and just swallow it before you get out of there. What's the problem with it? Just too fishy or whatever? Uh, the texture is a little off yeah, or something. It yeah, was like a little yeah. too, uh, I don't even know what it was. I don't remember. So what is the workflow? You're in the bar area or whatever. You get called in. You eat the 17 pieces and you bounce. Is your, Are you the only eight people, whatever it is, in the restaurant? Yeah. Or is there, oh, Jesus. So it's like by like times. Like there's like Ooh. a six o'clock group and an eight o'clock group. Um, but it's it, it was fucking incredible. You have to, you really have to go. Um but yeah, it's like, so they make the roll and they describe the roll right in front of you. And then they're, they're, it's like, you eat it with your hands. It's like very traditional style. And they describe it and, and they're like, this is best, you know, uh, enjoy it in the first 10 seconds of eating it. Yeah. Like, like definitely a fucking Wow, dude, that it sounds was, so fun. It was, it was the best food I've had in probably Los Angeles. Probably ever. It was like. Really? Yeah, it was I phenomenal. Go. No, it, it's like. it Better than the place we went for your birthday? Or for uh, uh, the the dude, I mean, it's unreal. It's it's like uh, I'm trying to think a best way to like describe it, where it's like you, you know, when you think you know what something's gonna be like, and then you have it, and it just blows your expectations away. Pussy. It's like that. Yeah, I thought vagina's gonna be one way, and then you insert, and you go, this is on a this has four Michelin stars. Think about losing your virginity for your taste buds. I felt like I finally wow. had like, I mean, it was impeccable. I gotta go, but just a lady. What's it called? Sushi by scratch? I got it. Yes. Not an ad. Not an ad. But shout out, Philip. I got to go. Speaking of not an ad, do we want to talk about the Trump sneakers? Yes. Oh! Pull them up. I saw a photo of these. I yeah. just talked about it uh, the other day with somebody. Yeah, so the, the context here is Trump tweeted uh, February 16th, said, looking forward to being at SneakerCon at the Philadelphia Convention Center on what? Saturday. So Trump shows up to SneakerCon to debut his uh, fucking shoes. Let me pull them up for I you. I can't Hold believe on. he has shoes. Um, ba, ba, ba. here they are. So here's uh gettrumpsneakers.com. Uh, they are sold out now. The How the much main three ninety nine. Oh my holy shit! God. But they are now um they available like, on eBay. Holy shit! Oh my bid. god, uh, dude! Wait, wait. How much is That's that price? Not real. 
that says four hundred and fifty thousand dollars, but I have a feeling it's um, probably not real. But these are no bids on this one. Nineteen hundred dollars. Put a shoe on a T-shirt. Are you fucking kidding me? They look can like you, wrestling can you shoes. Click on no, them, please. They do look like like WWE type. Yeah, they look like Captain America would wear these if he was going on a date to sushi. The funniest scratch. thing I, I saw. <laughs> the funniest thing I saw a comment was they they said they look like the January sixes. <laughs> <laughs> Um, good. yeah, so he, were they made scroll uh, down? Yeah, they are. There are no details. Um, it also says that Trump sneakers are not designed, manufactured, distributed, or sold by Donald Trump. So it sounds like maybe it's like a licensing deal. Yeah. For his yeah, yeah. Um, Wait, so he's a part of this or no, he is. Yeah. I mean, he's promoting it, but I don't think he actually, I think someone probably came to him and was like, we'll make a shoot. Yeah. You just have to tweet about it and go to sneaker. You just know when somebody puts those on, they're just waiting to get asked questions at the airport. Somebody's like, Hey, could you take this off? I'm taking off my freedom. I mean, for real, they like, they don't have shoelaces. They're just zip ties. Um, <laughs> <laughs> they don't look like Trumpian. If that makes sense. Uh, what do you, a gold shoe. Yeah, but like the way the show, like the the way the shoe, what the gold, they, yes. But what like, do you think they would look like? Like a New Balance, like that. Like no, he, that, he's not wearing that shit. He's not. But like, it's. I think it's the most Trump thing you could do. Like bright gold. The gold and the, for sure. It has the the red, white, and blue. F- it has the American flag on all the side. of that. All of that. Yeah, but they look like fashion sh- sneakers. I would think that he would do like. Imagine like uh like uh, what what's that shit called? Uh, Hoka like Hoka shit. But like gold. I think they have one on there. Yeah, yeah, so yeah to the got, right. He's got. Okay, these look more Trumpian. Yeah. Those honestly. They look like no. Yeezus. <laughs> these are one ninety nine. They look kind of comfortable. Do you know he has a clone too? There yep. it is. Yep. Very, I didn't Victory know forty seven. I think this m- is it. Maybe new. This is like an older one. Oh, okay. Dude, is he just so? Is he just like trying to make as much money off his name and licensing as possible? Yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Even all the Trump buildings are all licensed. Yeah. They didn't like make them. He's been. Yeah, this has been his thing. I think uh, forever. You're right? right. Like you're it's right, just right. the Trump brand, basically. Um. But yeah, you can get 5% off if you order a cologne and a sneaker. What else does he have on there? What's the most random thing he has on the website? Well, so you know what's crazy? Butt I plugs. was trying to find the... <laughs> so Get Trump Sneakers is its own operation oh. here, but I was on his website trying to find them first. His, he has so much merch, it's actually crazy. Really? Like, look at my scroll bar over here. You see how, how small that... Holy like, shit. He's got fucking... Dude, he's uh, doing a, a Patty's Day drop. Jesus Christ. <laughs> he has his mug shot on a mug. And yeah. on a beer koozie. It's I mean, it's he's we have he, what two t-shirts? The, at the most. <laughs> I'm fucking sick of it. Yeah, he's got full on like uh a lot of Biden, Kamala stuff. How do you find a headshot a headshot, Jesus? How do you find a mug shot? That's a good question. Because I, I have websites. That, I have a mug shot. Oh, really? It's so funny to put shoes on a t-shirt. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you guys, I'll be like putting a fucking t-shirt on shoes. <laughs> What's your logo? Oh, it's a crop top. Crop top. Michael did it. I did it. I bought it. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. Um, it. What's tomorrow? I don't know. Just cool. a day. Nice. <laughs> uh, you guys want to get into sock talk? I would freaking love to, dude. All right, guys, we got a sock talk today from Dennis and Dennis. Well, first of all, have you guys seen Mad- anything about Madam Web yet? Uh-uh. It's the new Dakota Johnson Marvel movie. I've seen photos of the uh, trailer, and I've also heard not great things. But you know, yeah. I have heard great things about. It. Go back to YouTube. Mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. video on the top right, I heard, is um, certified hood classic, as they say. Uh, I've heard the same thing. Yeah, IMDb and Rotten Tomatoes rated. Uh, Where's Apple Vision Pro? Once a ten out of ten by uh, Trevor Wallace, unbiased. Anyways, yeah, I've not seen, an ad or an ad. Not an ad. Okay. <coughs> Um, so, so Madam Web, yeah, it's a it's a new Marvel movie. It's like people the, are hating on it, right? It's like the lowest grossing Marvel movie since Marvel became like what it is, right? Really? Like, like it it the Punisher movie in two thousand four did worse. Like a couple of like old Marvel the Punisher movies. Was bad. The there was an old one like two thousand like a long time. Motherfuckers ago. love putting that Punisher school in their truck. Yeah. So so it has thirteen percent on Rotten Tomatoes. Holy it's like a, fuck. It's a bomb. Um, all the way around. There's some really what crazy. Is, what is this? Is this a remake? Have they remade this before? No. So this, this is, is an OG. This is well. It's it's based on a Who character. Who is Madam Web? So she's Spider a character. Web's mom? No, she. All but right. she is a character in the Spider Man comics. I guess is where okay. they got her from. I don't know anything about comic books. Hollywood back ten years. Um, they hate taking new risks on stuff. And that's why they remake 47 Fast and the Furious. Now they're like, let's try a new one, Madam Web. Bonk. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, this apparently. Green Light Stiff Socks podcast. Well, Stiff Socks does America. 
Yeah, and it could be a whole extended universe like Marvel. Do we I have an extended it. universe? We have a guy yeah, in the corner who is, uh, talks like Rocky Balboa. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of web is semen. Guys, let's do Ooh, this. Good. Okay, Wait, so, so we'll we get, we're going to get to Dennis. Yeah, we're going to get to Dennis's uh, video. But um, so this, this, there's this movie, the first trailer dropped and was so bad that we don't know if this is actually connected or not. Okay. But she, uh, is the day that the trailer dropped, she dropped WME and went to CAA. With, and the, the rumor is like she was so upset that like they that she got involved in this movie that she's like, fuck it. I'm like, I need a fresh start with someone oh else. Oh my God. Um, this is just really quick, just a uh, a quick compilation of like people's reactions to the movie. I mean, she so also far. got paid so much fucking money for this. So yes. Who really cares at the end of the day? This is one of the worst superhero movies that I've seen in a, in a long time. Madam Webb very well might be the worst movie ever made. This movie's terrible. Like in a way that almost <laughs> makes you angry. Scientifically, wow. it should be studied. I <laughs> so... Yeah, it's uh getting panned. All this is this all worse than the room? The yeah. Um, I don't. I don't think it can be. The room is no. insane. The room's um, insane. But to what Trev just said, might be, might be the move for marketing. Yeah. And speaking of marketing, so this is what Dennis actually wanted to show us is that uh this is a promo that Madam that Madam Webb put out. Okay, and he says he's watched this over and over again. I want to see. You like, know, this might be a hot take, but Dakota Johnson. Hot. So hot. Smoking. Oh my God. You think so? Yeah. What? <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's um, a GFA right there. So just let me Girl know how. an answer. <laughs> <laughs> I missed it. Um, I want to tell me how this video makes you guys feel. Okay. Sexy. Horny. Sorry. So while my character in the movie may be able to see the future, I also can. And I know what the future brings. I know that when you see Madam Webb, you're going to love it. In fact, I think you're going to see it twice. Hold on, hold on, hold on. First of all, why am, I, why am I hard <laughs> during a promo? Yeah, that, that was like an ASMR tucking me in the bed. Yeah. So, what? Wait, can we watch the trailer? Because, like, what, so yeah. far, so why far, why watch the trailer? That's fine. Let's watch that again. <laughs> I can't Dude, she wait predicted for the future. Watch, watch it again. Fucking um, here's the you 25 bet. million views. Holy shit. So, this is, this is big. What are some of the comments looking like? I love the part where she said it's bombing time and bombed at the box Dude, office. Dude, turning comments on is the smartest thing YouTube has ever done. Every diner in a movie looks so wholesome. If you've ever been to a diner at 2 a.m., everybody's on methamphetamines. <laughs> yeah, the, the chef is is doing fucking fentanyl off a <laughs> waffle. <laughs> <laughs> doing so, keep himself a spatula. <laughs> So she can like see the future, kind of. I don't. The trailer is going to make spider? it look much better than it is. But uh, there's a couple clips that. Um, to, she only to, got two legs. So this is a clip um, that everyone says is uh, okay. Very uncomfortable. Was empty when. Was Was an HR video? Are they jerking off a very large man? Oh. Uh oh. What is going on? No music. <laughs> no subtitles. Make this vertical. This is horrible. Why is it going on for so long? That's incredible. Um, God damn. So did they say how much they spent on this movie? And then how, how much did she get paid for this movie? Is yeah, that I'm information sure public? Um, I think the issue, too, uh, is on these movies, they get a lot of back end stuff. She she might not have been paid a lot. Really? <clears throat> yeah. Oh, because it'll be like, in, oh, Sydney Sweeney's in it. Yeah. But apparently that's kind of a cash grab. She's barely in it, but they put her in all the marketing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yep. Adam uh, Scott. Mike Epps is in it. Whoa. Mike, so $80 million so that's budget. times two. So that's about $160 million to make that movie. And so far, it has made 25.8. Fuck. How long has it been out? Mm. I mean, if we're being honest, it's, I mean, I don't know anything. February 14th came out on Valentine's Day. So, Dog, $25 million for a Marvel movie is heinous. Dude, isn't that funny? Heinous. We worry about. TikTok clips bombing. They're doing the same thing right now in the office. They're like, dude, Madam Web is down. <laughs> See, but the funny thing is our, our TikTok goes down and, and it's we like, spent 14 it, cents on it. Exactly. Like you lose, you lose $80 million. I mean, but don't you think to my point a little bit ago, 
yes, I'm resurfing to see my own point. That's why Hollywood doesn't like taking risks sometimes because they're like, we went outside, we attached Marvel, we tried to go big, it didn't hit. Now we're going to go Fast and the Furious 47. Vin Diesel sucks his own cock. Dude, 100%, I would watch that. But, um, but, but yeah, but, but they do, yes. The short answer is yes. That's, that's why they, that's why they do it. But there's, but there are a lot of like Marvel movies where they do, right? That they go like kind of outside and it does hit. Like, of course. You think of like fucking movies like Avatar, some shit like that. There goes nuts. So Guardians yeah. of the Galaxy Guardians is one that Gal- wasn't, wasn't yeah. like yeah, a household galaxy. name. True. <laughs> oh, that's, that's true. Yeah, but it is, there's, know. you know, there's a lot of people talking about how like, okay, people are just like. Listen, if I over- got an audition for this, I would have been in a fucking heartbeat. Yeah, 100%. Uh, would you have been uh, Sydney Sweeney's character? Is that her on the right? Yeah. Dude, she is having a moment right now. She just, I mean, Hollywood was like, you want to be this? Want to be this? Want to this? Dude, her phone is blown up right now. Her agent is somewhere in Tahiti on a fucking gold boat that Trump one's on. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, we'll do Secret Talk. Just one more clip from Madam yeah. Webb. What did she say? It's webbing time. It's webbing time. That's what no, he said no, when he was holding it. No, leash. she didn't. No, she didn't say it's webbing time. A lot of the, the reviews about this said the writing felt very AI. It didn't feel very good. Do they shoot this pre or post strike? Does anybody know? That's a good question. I don't know. It's webbing <clears throat> time. Imagine writing that. I My guess is they wrote that out and they're like, ah, we'll come back. We'll fix that later. And then they're like, all right, scripts are up. And you're like, oh, fuck. It's webbing time. I, it, I, imagine the director's like, ah, riff one. She goes, Time to web. I can't do it. That's not good. Web a Rooney. Web web is web is Welcome to sign. the worldwide web. This is just a Trevor Walls video at this point. <laughs> the top suggested search for was Madam Web is was AI Madam Web generated. AI generated. Good. Wow. <laughs> Crazy. Um. All right, guys. Secret sock time. Secret Anonymous sock. submission. Uh, we have a uh write in. Fuck. Where'd it go? Okay. Uh. When I was around 19 years old, I had an apartment with my best friend. Uh, one time I was taking a hot bath. I could hear him having sex with his girlfriend in Good. his bedroom. Uh, I listened and cranked one out in the tub. I never mentioned it to him. I came very quietly. That's hot. Soul burn. Literally. <laughs> that's hot. I, I got nothing. That, that's, that's the hot. hottest thing I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, because it's not weird. Well, little. Little. Yeah, but you're not watching them. It's almost just like if somebody was playing on a Bluetooth. Yeah, it's yeah, it's like like Audible.com, but for I mean, Pornhub. I wouldn't. What's up? Audible.com, but Pornhub. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't knock on the door after and be like, "Great job, guys." The rhythm, awesome. When you spun her around, loved it. That's when I came. I mean, yeah. do you guys want some cookies? Have you done that? No. I've got I've got a horny off someone fucking in a hotel room before. I like got mad next to me. Like I'm mad. Shut the hell up. It depends on where I'm at. Miami, seven a.m. The 7 a.m. is Stop fucking doing drugs and have sex normally. What's normal, though? Silent? A couple minutes. <laughs> Did your how neighbors... Long, how long do you normally last? <sighs> like under five minutes? No. Oh, okay. I don't Six? know. I have no idea. Oh. Look at the time next time. Okay. Ten? I don't, I don't know. Like spot at the comedy store? <laughs> uh, yeah, probably about 15 that. minutes? Yeah, 10 15 is pretty good. 10 to 15? That's fine. Yeah, you know? Yeah. People are tired. Yeah. <clears throat> what are you at? Fucking nine hours? You Probably fuck like a Lord of the Rings minutes. marathon. Like 40, 45 minutes. Dude, there was one time, Too during, long. one time during Santa Barbara that like came and then I haven't that done That was a this. sentence? What did you write for Madam <laughs> Web? <laughs> Hold on. I wasn't done. Um, but like came and then I've never, I haven't done this since like fucking like probably college, honestly. Like came and then like maybe less than 10 minutes later, I was like, I need to fuck again. And came again. It was Bubkiss with came to my cock the second time. <laughs> Bubkiss. I mean, it's a it, white flag. I, I mean, surrender. It was like, it was like droplets of water. Blue chew? I, no, I mean, I got hard. The hardness wasn't the problem. It was like uh, what was inside the tank. Yeah. It was, it it's was nothing. like literally nothing. It was, yeah, it's like resin hits out of a bomb. <laughs> yes. P- yes. Well. Is that a podcast? That's a podcast. That is a podcast. Good catching up. Hopefully we have a big guest for you guys next week. Hopefully. I think, I feel, I feel like we have, I feel good about it. I feel good. Good. He's known to cancel once or twice, but he loves us. Um, so yeah, very, we'll see you next week. Very funny guy. A funny guy. So, guys, that's it. 
Thank you, you so week. much for being part of this effing podcast, okay? As I always say, we love you, all right? So stick around. We got a lot of great, fun things headed your gosh darn way, and uh, we have a Patreon, okay? Ad-free. Drops every mother effing Friday. Ad-free, four episodes per month for $5 a month. Fucking end. We get a little wild because people don't listen, okay? You know, not people don't listen. People listen. I'm saying family members don't listen. Okay? We've also got uh, Jack put together this crazy Amsterdam vlog. Hey! That's wild. It's so good. So that should be going up. Uh, that should actually probably be up by the time this comes out. Fuck you. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, so come see Mr. Wallace, Mr. Boss on our tour. And uh, that's it. We love you guys. I got a big old dick. <laughs>